A college professor started off his class by taking out of his back pocket a hundred dollar bill. He then asked his students, how many of you would like this hundred dollar bill? Naturally, all the hands were raised. He then folded the bill in half twice and asked again, how many of you still want this? All the hands were raised. He took the bill and he crumpled it up. He said, how many of you want it now? Still, all the hands were raised. Finally, he threw the bill on the floor, stepped on it further and picked it back up and asked, how many of you want it now? Every hand still went up. He said, today you've learned an important lesson. No matter how many times I scrunched it up, no matter how many times it was trodden on, you still wanted it because it was worth $100. In the same way that the $100 held its value, so do you. No matter how many times life treads on you, you will always maintain your value. Because there's a part of you that none of this touches. There's a part of you that's eternal, full of knowledge and full of bliss that no failure, no rejection actually even gets close to. That spark inside of you can never be taken away. Our value is not defined by the clothes that we wear, our bank balance or the status of our job title. Our value is based on our experience, our potential and what we can offer. In the middle of 2009, he was the software engineer that no one wanted to hire. He had 12 years of experience at Yahoo, but he was rejected by Facebook and rejected by Twitter. So he started to team up with one of his alumni members from Yahoo and they started to develop this new app. The crazy thing, in five years time, he developed and sold that app back to Facebook for $19 billion. Believe it or not, that was Brian Acton, the co-founder of WhatsApp. This man watched his first company crumble. He was a Harvard University dropout and the first demo of his product didn't even work. And he went on to build Microsoft. His name's Bill Gates. This changed my life. Every rejection is just a redirection. It's just a detour. It's another route, another path, another adventure that will actually get us closer to our goal. Because the phenomenal thing is that if me and you got everything we thought we wanted, we would settle for something so small. We would have accepted that entry level job. We would have accepted starting at the bottom. But actually, when we accept that rejection as a redirection, we expand our scope, we open our minds to greater possibilities, to new heights and incredible moments that we never even imagined were possible. Failures are only failures when we don't learn from them because when we learn from them, they become lessons. The amazing thing is we can upgrade and transform anything on our lives to lessons. So whenever I feel that I'm getting rejected or failing or things aren't going my way, I think about these people that I admire, people that I look up to, people that I respect for what they've been through and realize the path that I'm walking is exactly the same path that they walked. And that's the reality. As Steve Jobs said, you can't connect the dots moving forwards. You only can when you're looking backwards.